In this video, we will focus on drawing structures of alkanes. Alkanes are the homogeneous series of saturated hydrocarbons with general formula CnH2n plus 2. Previously, we talked about how to name members in different homologous series. For alkane homologous series, the first member, which has one carbon, is methane. The second member has two carbons, and we call it ethane. The third member has three carbons, it is called propane. The fourth member has four carbons, it is butane. If we are required to draw the structures of these alkanes, how do we go about doing it? When we show all the bonds between the atoms in a molecule, we are writing down the full structural formula of the organic compound. Let's start with methane, which has one carbon and four hydrogens. This is carbon in the periodic table. It has six electrons, and it will use four outermost electrons for bonding to achieve stable noble gas octet electronic configuration. This is hydrogen in the periodic table. It has only one electron in its first shell. It needs one more electron to achieve stable noble gas duplex electronic configuration. Hence, one carbon atom will bond with four hydrogens and all the atoms have achieved stable noble gas electronic configuration. Carbon now has eight outermost electrons, while hydrogen has two outermost electrons. When we write the full structural formula, we do not need to draw the electron shell or draw dot and cross to represent the electrons. When drawing the structure, we use a dash, which represents a bond of two sharing electrons in a covalent molecule. Hence, one bond means the sharing of two electrons. In methane, carbon atom shares each of its electrons with four different hydrogen atoms. We will replace each of the electron pair with a bond. Tada! We have completed the structure of methane. Let's draw the structure of ethane. Ethane has two carbons and six electrons. Similarly, carbon needs to share four of its outermost electrons with the other non-metal atoms. This is the dot and cross diagram of ethane. Both carbon share one electron with each other. Then each carbon shares the remaining three electrons with hydrogen. Let's replace each electron pair with a bond. There you go. We have achieved the structure of ethane. What about propane? Propane has three carbons and eight electrons. This is the dot and cross diagram of propane. All three carbons share electrons with one another. Then each carbon shares the remaining electrons with hydrogen. We then replace each electron pair with a bond. And this is the structure of propane. Lastly, we have butane, which has four carbons and ten hydrogens. All four carbons share electrons with one another, then each carbon shares their remaining electrons with hydrogen. Let's replace the electron pair with a bond. We have achieved the structure of butane. If you look at each of these alkenes, you should notice carbon always form four bonds while hydrogen always form one bond. When you're familiar with structure drawing of organic compounds, you should not need to depend on dot and cross diagram to achieve the full structural formula of organic compounds to save time. Practice more and you'll be more confident in writing full structural formula of organic compounds. If you find this video useful, like the video and share with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more chemistry learning videos. Have fun learning chemistry and I will see you soon.